rather find purpose than a job or a career. Purpose crosses disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on the planet at this particular time in history. Just kidding, bro. When I hit that stage, then people better be ready. Especially the white folks. Welcome to America. I cannot tell you how much it means to have you step into the role as our king. For me, as the mother of a young son, my son's childhood has been defined by Barack Obama and now Black Panther, so thank you. This movie creates a story that we all share. Imagine receiving a letter that your tuition was paid for and that your benefactor was none other than the dopest actor on Sometimes the planet. Sometimes you need to feel the pain and sting of defeat to activate the real passion and purpose. So when they needed us, we could fight the battles. That they never could. Ladies and gentlemen, what a rough year 2020 has been. We've lost so many shooting stars. We've lost Kobe, John Lewis, Clifford Robinson of the NBA, John Thompson of the NBA. We've lost people protesting for equality. And now we've lost a rising star who was an activist for equality, an activist who did it on a screen, and a young man who was very, very young, early 40s, life was taken by colon cancer. I'm talking about the man on my shirt, the man who wore this hat, the man who wore this mantle. I am talking about Chadwick Bozeman, and I am completely devastated, as many are. And if you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you all get them. Me and Larry and a special guest, we go live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night. We will discuss chat with Bozeman later tonight with Pairweight Sharonda and just kind of talk about what he meant to the industry as an actor, but more importantly, what he meant to the world as a human. And I'm going to tell a little story that I haven't heard many people talking about in terms of where he comes from. The man is from Anderson, South Carolina. Some of you all know I live in North Carolina, and we are extremely racist, South Carolina more so than North Carolina. He was able to make a pathway to Howard University, where well, guess who his teacher was? Felicia Rashad. Y'all know her from the Cosby Show. Sister Debbie Allen. And while he was there, he did his job, he cultivated, he showed that he had... Um, acumen. He showed that he really wanted to do this thing really, really bad. And he excelled and got accepted to a prestigious school in England, Oxford um, Academy of Acting, but didn't have the money to get there. And he got a secret benefactor by way of Felicia Rashad. She contacted Denzel Washington, who provided this man with the money to go to that school. And at the time, he didn't know it. And back when they had a commencement ceremony, he escorted um, Denzel Washington around when he was nobody. And it's just telling to me the other story of what he wanted to do before acting. When he was in school down in South Carolina, he really wanted to play basketball. He was an outstanding basketball player. Confidant of his also played basketball and was killed. And to commemorate that confidant, Chad would start doing plays about what happened. And that catapulted him into going to Howard, into getting into that prestigious academy in Oxford in England, and into all the things you've seen him do to this point. Off the screen, ladies and gentlemen, he was a huge activist for equality and change. Um, he did a recent picture with Kamala Harris, who is also a graduate of Howard University, where he's just talking about why he's supporting equality and change because a lot of the things that he dealt with in his life coming from a racist state catapulted him to being where he's at now. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I am completely devastated. We're all devastated. Something that made me mad 
one of the publications is already talking about Black Panther 2. I mean, the man body is still warm. He hadn't even finished dying yet, really. And you already talking about what's going to happen in Black Panther 2. I don't think that that's in good taste. But more than likely, Marvel's probably going to bury the T'Challa character, at least for the time being, because it's so sensitive. And I do feel pretty confident that Marvel will do something to show respect to T'Challa slash Chadwick Boseman in the MCU, similar to how they did Stan Lee with the opening credits that they did back in one of the movies when he first died. Normally they show all the characters, but I think for Chad, they might do something like that for him. And going forward, most likely Shuri is probably going to be Black Panther. Um, and for now, we, we've just got to get over the fact that this man has died from cancer, which is colon cancer, ladies and gentlemen. Very young. And most of the time, they don't even screen for colon cancer until you're 50. And he was making, he found out about this six years ago. And was dealing with it over the last four years. So that means he did Black Panther. He did 21 Bridges. He did the most recent one he did on Netflix. He did all these movies dealing with cancer. And you never knew it. He kept a smile. He kept doing his activism. The only time you knew this man had cancer was when the recent pictures came out. And he looked very, very thin. But even then, he was still in good spirits. He was promoting Jackie Robinson. This man has just been a gift to humanity. And I have to sit here and talk to younger people and the folks he inspired that want to know why is it that he died so young? The question always comes up, why do the good ones die so young when it seems like their work isn't even complete and we still stuck with a-holes who are evil, who hate people living and thriving? Ladies and gentlemen, those are questions I can't answer, but this video is a tribute to a man who was a great human being. Throughout our filming, I was communicating with them, um, knowing that they were both terminal. And, and what they said to me is, and their parents said, they just, they're trying to hold on till this movie comes. Mm. And I, to a certain degree, you hear them say that and you're like, Phew, like, wow, that's like, I got to get up and I got to get up and go to the gym. I got to get up and go to work. Um, you know, I got to learn these lines. I got to work on this accent. Uh, you know, seeing how devoted all of my castmates are and knowing that 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 will be something meaningful to them. But it's to a certain degree, it's, it's a humbling experience because you're like, this can't mean that much to them, you know? But seeing how the world has taken this on, seeing how the movement, is, how it's taken on a life of its own, I realized that they anticipated something great. And um, I think back now to a kid and just, you know, uh, waiting for Christmas to come, waiting for my birthday to come, mm. uh, waiting for a toy that was going to, that I was going to get a chance to experience or a video game. I did live life waiting for those moments. Mm. And so it put me back in the mind of being a kid just just to experience those two little boys' um, anticipation of this movie. And when I found out that they... Yeah, it's, it's, it means a lot. Who was a credit to the world as a whole. And Chadwick Boseman, you will be missed. We all love you. There will never be a Black Panther to take your place. There will never be a Jackie Robinson to take your place in acting. There will never be a James Brown in acting to take your place. And as we all are mourning you, we want you to know that we're thankful for what you did do for the world, your contributions to the world. You uplifted people through your acting and through your activism, and you will dearly, dearly be missed. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, 
Get yourself a life game. Be sure to share this video. Join me and Larry live tonight with Sharonda from Paraway as we discuss Chadwick. And we'll also do our review of Lovecraft Country as well as the review for Pea Valley. And until that next sexy as hell video, ladies and gentlemen, love your loved ones. Live like today is the last day, but also continue to plan for tomorrow. I'll see you.